So, in order to create a one point calibration on a job, we need to go to the home menu and go to site, open site, and we're going to create a new site. So here is where we'll name the site. Make sure that the distance is survey feet, angles, degrees, and so on and so forth. Once you have a new site name, you'll hit next. And right here, we're not actually going to select any control point information or no calibration files because we're creating it from in the field. So we'll click finish. We'll then create a new work order. We'll give it a name and then click finish. We also will not include a design, so no design needed will be the option selected. We'll then hit accept. From here, we'll go back to the home menu, GPS, connect. Now from here, we'll connect to the base station first. So our mode will be base. For the emulator version, I'll select emulator, but in the field, you would select Bluetooth. Correction method, radio and receiver. Choose the network ID you will operate on. Base position. This is where we're going to tell the base station that is in an unknown position. We'll give it a name. And select OK. The antenna type will be the Zephyr Geodetic Model 2. Here we will choose the vertical height of two meters if it is on a tripod. If it is not on a tripod and affixed to a building or other structure, the vertical height will remain at zero. And our correction method will be CMRX and or CMR plus if applicable. CMRX is the latest correction method. Now when you get this screen, the latitude, longitude, base height, pay attention to these numbers. As we're not really concerned about latitude and longitude, as much as we are the height, this, this elevation will be further used in the machine setup. If you want to, you can take a screenshot or jot these numbers down on a sheet of paper. Select OK. Now we will go back to the home. Now that our base is set up, 
we need to set up our rover. GPS, connect. So I will select rover, and then for me, it'll be Rocky Emulator. In the field, it will be Bluetooth. I will select radio and receiver. The network ID shall match what the base station was set up on. Once corrections have been established from the base to the rover, it should allow you to see that it is connected to the base name that you gave it during the base setup. It's asking if we are using a quick release. If you are using a quick release, you would select yes. If you're not sure what that is, you can hit this little question mark. And it would be this device right here. If you are not using a quick release, you would then select no. And then it needs to verify the antenna height. This is the antenna height from the bottom of the rod to the measured dimension on the receiver to make sure that we have a notated antenna height. After this, select accept. Now, Right here, it's asking rover setup is complete. Do you want to calibrate the site now? We're going to select yes. When we talk about one or single point control calibration, Trimble considers that a no control point cal, which means we don't have any control points loaded into this project as a job. So here we can enter the ro rover's local coordinates and press measure to calibrate. Now if you don't know the local coordinate of the location of where you are, it's no big deal. For the northing, we would type in 5000.0. For the easting, 5,000.0 and for this application we'll base everything off off 100 feet. Now before we hit measure keep in mind that whenever we select measure this will be the location of where the rover is on the project. We are not calibrating the base station we are calibrating the rover once this calibration has been performed, our coordinate system for this project will be in the 5,000 northing, 5,000 easting, and elevations relative to 100 feet. Once you have navigated to a location that you would deem as this is the one and only control point on the project, you would select measure. Here is where we will set our static mode settings. Measure method will be bottom of quick release, if using a quick release. If you are not using a quick release, it will be bottom of antenna. Vertical height of 2 meters or 6.562 feet. Horizontal and vertical tolerances should remain at 0 0.08 and minimum measuring time at 15 seconds. Once the rod with the rover attached is vertical and plumb, we will then press start.
It will then count for 15 seconds and take its horizontal and vertical readings of this one control point. And it is calibrating the latitude, longitude into our 5000 coordinate system. Next item is it's asking, do you want to save the base station location as a control point? If the base station is set up on a tripod with a hard mounted monument below the tripod, such as an iron rod, then you may want to save it as a control point. If it's mounted to a building or permanent structure, then I would select no. Before you select yes or no, keep this in mind. If this project is a multi-day project where we will be utilizing this base station position multiple days in a row, I would then suggest we save that as a control point so that the following days we can set up on that selected control point and all of our coordinates and elevations remain the same throughout the duration of the project. So I will select yes. So now our coordinates should be in the 5000s and you have just performed a one point calibration. Thank you for watching.